About a year ago, I wanted to remap a key to some other key, and that's how I discovered on a hotkey. But actually, for something this simple, using on a hotkey is kinda bad. Especially if you're going to use on a hotkey more than just for that remap. So today I'm gonna teach you the method to do it in the most, I guess, efficient and uh, not slow method. First of all, the obvious one. You open your keyboard software, go and remap whatever key you have. If you have this option, you should probably use it. However, for me, sometimes I have like electrical uh, voltages that are too high coming through and my keyboard unplugs and then I have to replug it. Basically that's really strange, but long story short, I have to uh, like the remaps stop working. That's a really specific issue. However, I still had it. So I decided to find a better way to do that same thing. Well, let's get to the registry. You press Windows R and then type in regedit. Say yes and here you are in the registry editor. Where you have to go is this. Computer, la la la, system, current control set, control, keyboard layout. In case keyboard layout doesn't exist, well, it probably should, but in case it doesn't, you just create it. I guess new folder? Should be... no. Well, I guess I don't know. Should be there. And now you do new uh, binary value and you name it scan code map. The casing is important, so capital S, scan code, capital M, map. Cool. Let's open it. And here we actually have the scan code map. Now I understand that it's unreadable and it won't become readable, but you'll know what each of the zeros and other numbers mean. First of all, the first line is the header of the map. It basically says, this is a map or something of that nature. So you type in, I counted 16 zeros they have to be uh, on the first line, so they cover the first full line. Then we have this part. Yeah, this part. So, 03. This is the actual number that we would change. Default is 02, meaning there is one remap in this entire scan code map. The six zeros after always stay zeros, you don't change them. However, here I have two remaps, so now it's 03, meaning two remaps. So it doesn't start at 01 for one remap, it starts at 02 for one remap. And then you continue on to make the number bigger and bigger. One important thing to remember is the fact that it uses hex. So not base 10 that we're used to, 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 10, and then, wait, 8, 10, 8, 9, 10, yeah. Uh, but after 10, there is A, no, after 9, there's A, B, C, D, F, something of that nature. So keep that in mind. Now, the next, the next four keys is the actual remap. It's surprisingly difficult to select here. <laughs> so, <clears throat> what is this? The first uh, two blocks is what's to remap to. The second two are what's to remap. So, this uh, will now be on this key. To elaborate on that, oh, one is escape, three A is caps lock. So caps lock is now on escape. Pretty much always the other uh, part of the two blocks will be zero zero. 
but sometimes it will be E0. For the more weird keys, this method won't include every single key that you might have. A lot of them, sure, but it will miss some. So that's something to consider. And for the more weird keys, uh, you would put E0. I'm not sure what it is concretely. Like, I don't know where exactly to use it or not, because there are variants uh, for some keys that are either 0, 0 or E0. But that's up to you to decide if this doesn't work, try E0. Maybe it will work then. The other for blocks of numbers is my second remap, which is why there is 0, 3 here, because I have um, because I have two remaps. And this is the other way around. On caps lock, there's escape. So escape on caps lock. And the other four or other eight zeros at the end is like the header that we had here, but the bottomer, essentially. Uh, this is what we say to mean the scan code map has ended. So these never change as well as this top part. What we need to change is this number and the actual remaps one after the other. Uh, now don't worry, you don't have to uh, remember all this or recite the video and type in by watching. Uh, I actually made a GitHub gist that contains all of the information that I have here. I will link this in the description so you can go ahead and look all of, at all of this uh, on GitHub. And uh, there will be most if not all available uh, hex codes that you will need for each key. So caps lock is 3a as I shown uh, previously. Oh, I showed escape actually, and here is escape. So you can just copy that uh, and paste it there. If you can paste it, I'm not actually sure. And everything that I uh, have shown off in the video is also here, along with a additional website with maybe more keys that might or might not work. I can't promise you. So that's essentially it. Now let's remember to go back to what we actually closed for that reason. Sure, let's come back. Uh, yeah, so after you do all that, you just press OK, uh, close, and then you have to reboot your, your computer. So the changes take place. In case they don't, uh, and you're like, what? But I changed everything. Just reboot your computer and then everything will start working. If it doesn't, as I said, replace the 00 to E0. Maybe that will work. If it doesn't, you're out of luck and should either uh, relay, should either relay that's not the word rely on your keyboard software but if you don't have that then yeah on a hotkey and for that you have my channel to learn in so if that was useful to you that's great leave a like subscribe leave a comment in case you didn't understand something or maybe you have a better way to do this in any case, have a good day. Goodbye.